Hello everyone. So today we're going to prepare to make our own unique wind chime. So I've been in love with like silver or stainless steel kind of uh, wind chimes. I like the way that they sound. They make a different type of pitch. Um, I have some bamboo ones and I have some other ones, but I think the stainless steel or silver have a really nice pitch um, when they're actually out in the winds blowing and so forth. So I'm going to attempt to make my own. This is a Pinterest inspired project. So what I have in front of you guys um, are some spoons and a, a fork. These spoons here are actually from my Dollar Tree, Dollar Store Plus, not Dollar Tree, Dollar Store Plus. It's a thinner type of stainless steel, um, and I think I can drill through the holes. My goal is to drill one pot, one hole here, and um, and then I'm going to bend the tines of the fork to make it so that the, this uh, fork will hold the spoons. So this one is a spoon that I actually got from the Dollar Tree. It's bigger, first of all, which I do like, but it's thicker, um, which it, I don't like because it's going to be harder for me to drill through with my um, drill. So I am not going to use this one unless I wanted to wrap the actual wire around the, the stem or the handle of the spoon. But then uh, I don't think the longevity of it being wrapped around the handle would be as strong as actually drilling a hole within the spoon and making an actual hole so that I can make a little hook there. So anyway, I just wanted to share this first uh, phase of this project and I will share the next. So it's a little noisy out here, so excuse the noise, but um, I have all the spoons here. What I did was I took a little screw, which I have right here, and I hammered it in with my hammer. That's right here. Um, into the back just a little bit to make a little pilot like kind of hole um, so that way my drill wouldn't be sliding every which way as I'm trying to drill I would recommend for each of you guys to maybe wrap this in some type of tape um, masking tape or something like that and also have a, a block underneath I used brick um, to, to actually make the pilot hole because I knew my, my thing wouldn't uh, my spoon wouldn't move around I don't have any clamps to actually clamp it down so if you have a clamp that would be the optimal way to do this project um, but if you don't you can improvise like I've done but just make sure you wrap so that it can give it a more polished look because as you can see it's a little bit scratchy um, and I'm going to polish it up a little bit before I move to the next phase but it definitely has like a little dent indentation like right at the end here that I can use as a pilot hole. So I've done two already in which I've drilled through that way and see how it's nice and flush. Um, if I had done it on this side, which would have been optimal way to do so, then maybe I wouldn't have had the scratches on the front in which um, would be shown. But again, I'm going to buff that off and polish it up. So hopefully it won't be such an eyesore in that way. Um, but those are some tips that I learned in this, this little DIY that you guys can use. Um, but let me go ahead and finish drilling. I have to finish uh, doing the last three spoons there because I have a total of five spoons and then the fork. Um, also I wanted to tell you guys in regard to the fork, I took the tines and I actually divided them out so one every other direction so this first one went forward, the second one went backward and so forth. And then what I did is you can see I made little hooks out of them so that way when I get ready to hang the jewelry part which will be the spoons and I'm going to put some beads on a string prior to the spoons hanging to give it a little bit of color and texture and contrast and also make it a little bit blingy as it's hanging those are just my tidbits all right guys so let me finish up drilling okay so everything has been drilled now and so now it's more of a cosmetic stage of trying to make sure everything looks presentable and very polished up close um, as you can see that's a very rough cut in the fork there and the fork has actually two holes one at the top and one at the bottom I'm going to actually hang a wire right in the middle here um, to droop uh, one of the spoons since there's five spoons that'll give it a, a better pitch uh, as well to hit the others when the wind blows and then this is the one at the top it's not centered all the way what I would recommend is to take like maybe 
a permanent marker and do a dot before you hammer in with a nail and that will help with you centering in your drilling for your holes but again this is a first shot so you live you learn and that's why I'm sharing these tidbits with you guys so that you guys can make yours a little bit more professional um, so these are the holes for the spoons as you can see again it has some little rough markings from being hit on the brick to do like my pilot holes but overall it doesn't look too bad so I'm ready to move forward with the next uh, phase I'm not going to hammer out the the little curvature of the spoon I think that actually gives it a character and also will make better pitch when it actually hits the other spoons when the wind's blowing but I did hammer out the little curvature of the fork here so that is flat Okay, so looking forward to getting the beads together and the wire together and putting this together as the final piece. Oh, let me tell you about the bit I used as well. Um, this is the bit that I bought. I bought this bit a while ago to drill through some ceramic pots, um, but it seems to work really well to drill through the silver. It's a slow process, so it takes you about 60, maybe 120 seconds per drilling of each spoon um, with this bit. And I did use water. I poured water over the spoon so that to stop the friction and also allow the drill bit not to overheat because one of them was starting to get so hot it almost burnt my finger. So that's a tip it, to use some oil or some type of water or oil or water as a friction reducer when drilling. OK, so let me get everything together for the next step and I'll be back. Here's the finished wind chime. Uh, so basically I just have it here on a temporary hook so I can share it with you guys. Um, I'm going to come in close so you guys can see all the details. So what I have here is the actual fork hook and I used a little uh, ring hook. Uh, I don't know what this hook is actually called but it's like what you get on your key rings. Um, so I had a couple of extra of those so I decided to go ahead and thread that through the fork hook there. And so as we move down through the fork, you can see that I have the middle hole here drilled through and I have a wire that I've inserted so that it can give it a fifth hook. And the fifth hook contains the actual blue beads. And these beads are actually some craft beads that I had from a prior project. So I recycled and reused for this particular project. And I think it's really cute. Um, I did a variation of the colors uh, to give it a little bit of pizzazz and then I decided to go ahead and thread it so this is one wire and this is galvanized wire that I threaded through here so what I did was I pre-beaded all of the wires prior to putting them on the actual fork and then I just folded everything over with my tools and made sure I twisted it in so once I, I hooked this one on I had pre-beaded this hook first and then I hooked the wire to that hook um, and then once I had the beads on there, then I just went ahead and folded the beads onto the fork with the wire hook, uh, which is a galvanized wire again. Um, and so then that's basically how each are assembled. Um, so then you can see that the fork here, I did file down all of the damage from actually hammering when I did the little pilot drilling to make sure that I had a, a drill hole there. So it's nice and smooth. You really can't tell. So this is what everything looks like. And then I did a variation of colors. Um, so I did red for two. The middle one is blue and white. And then the others are purple and white. So yeah. Um, I think that pretty much covers everything and as far as the wires go uh, of the fork tines I folded in them over there and so each has a hook um, so that gives you a better detail once I have a hanging outside I'll put some pictures at the end but this project was very very reasonable um, it cost me four dollars three dollars um, in actual supplies of the fork so I got them two for a dollar so I got six so that was three dollars and then I had used some beads that I already had but if I had to purchase the beads I would say they would cost about two dollars um, maybe three depending on where you go um, and then the galvanized wire I actually had that from a project years ago um, and it's in my toolkit and you can probably get that at your Dollar Tree or even Lowe's in a little spool um, and it shouldn't cost any more than about three dollars for a small reel maybe 15 feet or something like that um, but again this is a under ten dollar project uh, estimating for my particular project this cost me about five dollars 
Um, but I say about $10 because if you have to purchase the beads and so forth. But I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial um, of making your own wind chime. I think it's really, really cute and it's fun and it's whimsical. And this is what it sounds like. It's not as loud, but in the wind, I think it'll it'll give like a nice little sound. Um, and I, I think maybe I'll make a, a couple more so that I can give it a little bit of different uh, sound. And each type of spoon that you buy, so if you do decide to go with a different type of spoon, their pitch may be a little bit different. So that's something to keep in consideration too so that you can get different types of pitch. You could do a variation of different types of spoons to make a little bit of a different type of uh, wind chime music there um, but thank you so much for watching this video I hope you've enjoyed it if it was beneficial to you please do share share this along with someone else so that they can also maybe make something that can be beautiful to your home there's so many different ways that you can change this project you can use uh, crystals you can use other materials uh, you can add you can add like two hooks to make this like double or triple you can do so much so just use your own imagination to make it your own way and your own style this is a Pinterest inspired and again I made it my own way so thank you so much for watching till next time show love and kindness to all if you're not a subscriber please consider subscribing I would love to have you as part of my family and until the next time you have a great day and thank you again for watching take care bye mm -hmm.